these are the top 5 free tweaking utilities that you should be using to get more FPS, fix FPS drops and reduce input delay in any game. Regardless if you have a low end, a medium end or a high end PC, these free optimizers will help you optimize your windows for gaming and best performance. As a bonus, I will not only show you 2 extra tools at the end but also give you my own custom tweaking profiles for few of these tweakers. So smash that like button so that this video can help more people and let's dive straight into it. So all of these free tools you can download them off of the internet but if you want some of the bonus stuff as well as my own custom profiles you will need to download it from my website the link will be in the description down below. You can also join in my discord server and ask me there and I can send you my own custom profiles there as well. Starting off with one of the most popular windows tweaker that is the win arrow tweaker. Now for all of these tweakers to actually work properly you will need to right click on them and run them as admin. So once this opens up the interface should look something like this. It has tweaks ranging from from appearance to certain behaviors and disabling unwanted apps to disabling driver updates even your windows defender as well as boot and logon settings some actions and taskbar settings disabling microsoft edge to certain settings networks disabling the windows defender which i actually don't to disabling auto updates and a bunch of power settings and more stuff as well now all of these settings can be quite overwhelming for a new user so you might be wondering what's the easy fix here well that's where the custom profile come into play. All you will need to do is click on file, then import export tweaks, then click on the import tweaks from a file and then hit next. Then you will need to browse the file that I provided you inside of the free tools, then my custom profiles and this is the win error profile. Then simply click on open, then hit next and then it will ask you which of these following tweaks you actually want to apply to your system. You can review these tweaks and uncheck any of the ones that you don't want to apply but I do recommend that you keep all of these checked, then click on finish. The tweaks will be successfully imported and then hit ok. And that's basically it. Now you can close out of the win arrow tweaker and you will need to restart your windows for these tweaks to actually apply but we will be doing that at the end. Moving on to the next one and that is the Chris Titus text windows tweaker. Now for this one you will actually need to copy this command and use the powershell in order to run the tweaking utility. Now how do you do that? Simply right click on your start menu and run the windows powershell as an admin. If you can't find this here there's nothing to worry about. Open up the start menu and search for PowerShell and then simply run it as an administrator. Once it opens up, copy and paste that command from the notepad and then hit enter. After a couple of seconds, it should open up this tweaking utility which I don't even know how is it possible that something this good is actually free because it comes with a bunch of tweaks as well as installers and all of the other stuff that we will be exploring. Now inside of the install option, there are a bunch of software that you can directly download from here and install it on your PC. This is a lifesaver if you are going to reinstall your windows or if you you just bought a new PC. You can select all of the things that you want to install ranging from browsers to utilities to games and Microsoft tools and all of that good stuff. But what we are more concerned with is the tweaks tab and inside of here it actually gives you the recommended selections as well. If I click on the standard ones as you can see that a lot of these tweaks have been checked. If I clicked on the minimal one only those which are completely safe and have a minimal impact on the performance will get checked. And if I click on clear, all of the tweaks will be cleared. Now the ones that I do recommend is clicking on the standard one. As for the advanced tweaks, just simply go ahead and follow along with me. As for the Adobe stuff, if you do use some of these softwares provided by Adobe like me such as Photoshop or Premiere Pro, some of the functionality can break. So I would just leave these unchecked. For the disable IPv6, it is no longer usable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it checked. For disable background apps, check this once more. For disable full screen optimizations, of course you want to disable full screen optimizations but as you can see in the note that this will disable color management in exclusive full screen as well as switching out of games becomes harder and due to the black screen but it will give you more performance in all of your games so I highly recommend that you check this one. For disabling Microsoft Copilot of course you want to disable it unless you use it then go ahead and set the display to performance then remove Microsoft Edge, remove home and gallery from Explorer this one is a personal preference so I'm gonna keep this one unchecked then remove OneDrive since I don't use it but if you do use it then go ahead and uncheck this and block razor software installs i don't use any razor products so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep this unchecked moving on to customize preferences simply go ahead and copy all of the ones that i have already applied and that should be it moving on to the configurations you can install features such as the hyper v virtualization install all of the dotnet frameworks but most of these are not the ones that you would be concerned about you can also apply auto logins reset windows updates reset your network which i do recommend if you are getting 
really high ping. You can scan system for any corrupted files which will be automatically fixed. Remove Adobe Creative Cloud which is a headache for me so I'm gonna do this after recording this video. And there are a bunch of legacy windows panels here as well. Moving on to updates, you can set the updates to default out of the box. You can only select the security, the recommended settings so that only the security updates are downloaded and installed on your PC and none of the useless settings or feature updates are going to be downloaded or installed. And you can also go ahead and disable all of the updates which is not recommended but if you keep your PC manually up to date then I would recommend disabling all of the updates as well. As for the micro win, this is basically an ISO customizer which I wouldn't really recommend unless you have some good experience with some of the things inside of here but you always have this option. You can get the Microsoft Windows ISO and then customize it inside of here to remove any telemetry or tracking services, debloat apps and all of that good stuff. You can also check out my discord server if you need help with this and I will be glad to help you with it. Next up is the O&O Shut Up 10. Now imagine a software with all of the privacy settings as well as telemetry settings built into a single place for you to easily disable and manage those settings. Well that is the O&O Shut Up 10. So right click on it and run it as administrator. Now I do know that it does say Shut Up 10 but it also works on Windows 11. Well, now once this opens up you can see that these are the toggles for turning settings on and off. These are the settings with a question mark which shows you what they actually do and these are the recommendations. So you can go through them manually and enable or disable all of these settings one by one or what you can do is click on file, click on import settings and use my custom profile provided with the pack then simply click on open and since I have already applied it no changes were made to your existence configuration but for you since you haven't used this profile it will make a lot of changes then simply hit ok and now what you need to do is close out of it, click ok and then it will ask you to restart your windows but we will be restarting later so cancel that option. Moving on to another free optimizer that is probably one of the best optimizer softwares geared toward gamers and that is the optimizer 16.7 according to its latest version as of recording. So for this one rather than just talking about it I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So this is the Hellsberg optimizer and what's inside of it are a bunch of settings related to privacy, system, apps and everything you need to optimize your PC for ultimate gaming. These are all of the settings that you can enable inside of here. The ones I recommend are optimized performance and if you click on optimized performance it will show you what it actually does. It is a collection of internal windows settings to optimize performance completely safe to apply. Reduces waiting time before killing unresponsive processes, decreases menu show delay, shake to minimize features, shows hidden files. So I highly recommend that you go ahead and turn this on. Show all notification icons is actually a personal preference and I like to keep this disabled. Remove menu delay yes optimizer network of course you want to turn it on and once again if you click on it it will give you the details of what it actually does disable print service if you don't use it disable error reporting compatibility assistant fax service sticky notes smart screen if you don't open up a lot of third party software i do recommend disabling this but if you do then keep this enabled disable office telemetry mozilla firefox telemetry google chrome nvidia telemetry and visual studio telemetry i'm gonna keep the nvidia one on because i have seen some issues with this one and since I don't have the Visual Studio installed on this PC, I don't really need this setting. Then disable telemetry tasks, disable media player sharing, disable home group, disable SMB v1 as well as SMB v2. These are basically the useless protocols that have been replaced by SMB v3 which is also more secure. And also if you do use home groups then make sure to turn this setting on instead of disabling it. Disabling system restore, I don't actually recommend this. Disabling super fetch, yes hibernation should be disabled. Disable NTFS timestamp stamps and search indexing, I would just leave both of these off. So yeah, those are my general settings. Moving on to the Windows 10 settings and inside of here, let's start with the system settings. And the ones I like to use are disable TPM check, disable sensor devices, remove cost to device. For the privacy ones, of course you want to disable telemetry and services, disable Cortana, enhance privacy, disable news and interest, start menu ads, edge telemetry and edge discover. Same thing for all of these gaming ones as well as the touch ones, simply go ahead and turn all of these on. For windows updates I would recommend disabling all three of these as for the disable automatic updates if you haven't updated your windows then keep this one on go ahead and update your windows and then come back here to disable it. Under the UWP apps you can uninstall any of the apps that you don't actually use. For the startup ones you can as it says disable startup apps. There are a bunch of software that you can download and install. Under the cleaner tab you can completely remove all of the temporary files and useless files for both your windows as well as your browsers. For the network 
settings you can set your own dns which i have set it here you can copy mine and you can also flush the dns cache which i do recommend from time to time and you will need to click on restart to apply changes for all of these changes to work since i am recording this video i won't be restarting my pc right now up next we have all the windows this is one of the best tool that is developed by microsoft themselves and you can find it on microsoft store now this is the installer so i'm gonna open up the app inside of this app you can see all of the programs that you have installed along with an indication whether they are a third party app or a system app and you can easily uninstall any apps from here moving on to services now this is the best part about this one it actually tells you which services are safe to disable with this green indication you can also search up the services by going to all and searching for the name and all you need to do to disable any of these services is simply right click on it and then go to mode and set it to disabled and that's basically it up next we have performance now these are a bunch of windows settings packed into one for easy access you can go ahead and set the ultimate performance power plan you can turn on the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling which isn't supported for my gpu but if it is for yours then make sure to turn this on for the startup apps you can go ahead and disable any of the startup apps from here which i highly recommend that you disable as many as you can moving on to background apps make sure that this is turned off activity history should be turned off moving on to game settings make sure that the game mode is turned on and background recording and super fetch are turned off now for the search indexing make sure that this is turned off if you don't use it for the delivery optimizations it should also be turned off and for the network adopter onboard processor make sure that this is turned off as well moving on to the health section inside of here the fast startup should be disabled hibernation should be disabled for the drive optimization click on this dot and make sure that the schedule optimization is turned off especially if you're using a solid state drive for your hard drive you can click on it and optimize it from time to time but i won't recommend it for a solid state drive storage sense should be turned on if you want to automatically delete the temporary files then under the repair you can run all of these commands if you want to repair any corrupted windows files or update files for the cleanup once again it provides you a lot of things such as junk file explorer microsoft store cleanup system restore point cleanup dns cleanup for the app updates go ahead and turn this one off and for the graphic driver you can restart the graphic driver if it has weird issues like freezing or flickering then moving on to the tweaks tab the only ones that are actually useful are these privacy ones so this all should be turned off ads all of these ads should be turned off as well system just go ahead and copy my settings and that's basically it this is a really lightweight and really useful utility if you want to get the most out of your windows settings and now if you have stuck this far we can move on to the bonus stuff so open this up and inside of here the first one is actually the hone installer now i know that hone is actually a premium utility but they also have a lot of free optimizations which can really help you if you want every bit of performance out of your pc i highly recommend at least using their free version if you can't afford the premium one like if i go to optimizations you can see the amount of optimizations they provide and they also provide the performance impact along with recommendations as well as the description of each of these optimizations if i go back to dashboard they also provide me recommendations of what optimizations i should be applying next moving on to the boost up tab they have the junk cleaner optimizing drives even optimizing your discord and fixing defender bugs to a steam cleaner they have got pretty much everything they also have game specific sections if i go on to fortnite you can see that they have a bunch of pro settings as well as their own pre-applied tweaks that you can apply from here and also this video is once again not sponsored by hone i just really love this software and wanted to put it out there since my motherboard doesn't actually support these so i cannot access them but they also have bios settings if you want to check those out and last but not the least is actually a software that i developed myself and it allows you to automatically change win32 priorities without needing to restart your windows or even your game by the click of single keyboard shortcuts and the one that i recommend is is this one the value of 26 so simply click on it click ok and that's basically it now if you keep this software in the background and launch into a game you can use these shortcuts to change to any of these values and test on your own which one works the best for you because this can actually have an impact on not only the fps but also the latency of your games so give this software a try and you can find it on my discord server or of course inside of this pack so that's gonna be it for this video if it helps you then make sure to leave a like down below and if if you want to optimize your windows even further then check out this video right now